Now it is time for us to pray. To pray for one another, to pray for ourselves. To pray for God's will to be done. I know there is a lot on each of your hearts and minds this morning. And I assure you that God knows that it's there. I'm reminded of Mother Teresa being asked what she said when she prayed. She said, oh, I just listen. And then when asked, well, okay, so if you're listening, then what is God saying? And she says, oh, God is listening too. That is how God knows. Sometimes prayer is, is very quiet. And if you're not really aware of this kind of beautiful relationship that's going on, it can feel kind of futile or silly. But I want to tell you that in that time of listening, that time of being present to the presence of God, That is when some of the greatest gifts of, of healing, of assurance, of comfort, of wisdom, of uh, of just simply feeling heard and known happen. So I, I encourage you in your own time this Sunday to, um, to find that time of listening. But I also want to lead us in a communal prayer using words written by Christine Longhurst. So let us, let us pray together. God, we come into your presence with praise and thanksgiving for your faithful love. Your love never fails, not even when we turn away from you, when we ignore your invitation or desert you for gods of our own making. Even then, you do not abandon us, but reach out again and again, inviting us back into relationship once more. As you welcome us, so you welcome our prayers. We bring them to you with confidence, knowing that you will hear and answer. We pray for the world you created and the people who share it with us. For countries caught up in war or violent conflict. For all who have been hard hit by COVID-19 for those whose homes and lives are threatened by natural disaster, for these and all the other areas in our world where there is need and despair, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our country and for its people, for our government leaders, federal and local, for our judicial system and police forces and military, for our cities, towns, and rural communities, for employers and employees, for young and old, for our citizens who are struggling, sometimes unsuccessfully, to remain civil, for all who are a part of this great country, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our local community, for the people of Richmond, and for the people of Chesterfield, Chester, for the people of Henrico and Hanover, for those who are unemployed, for those who are in prison, 
those who are hungry, for those who are alone and afraid, for all our neighbors, those who are known and unknown to us. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for this congregation, for Amp Hill Presbyterian Church, for all who join to worship with us online, wherever they may be, for those who are ill or whose loved ones are ill, for those who are anxious about the future, for those who are struggling with their faith, for those who minister among us, for all your people in this place, Lord, hear our prayer. Pour out your Spirit upon us. Fix our hearts and our minds on what is true and honorable and right. Give us the joy and peace that comes from knowing and doing your will. Keep us faithful to the call we have received in Christ Jesus our Lord, extending your loving invitation to the world around us. This we pray. In the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever.